So now that we finished administering the Google Search Appliance, you can go ahead and connect both the laptop and the Google Search Appliance to the network, which I just did using straight cables. So I'm going to go ahead and open the address which I initially typed in the settings. And this opens uh, the web interface for accessing the Google Search Appliance. Using the admin credentials that I just created, I'll log on to it. And this is the main uh, interface for Google Search Appliance. We have crawl and index, uh, surveying, status reports, connected administrations, Google Apps, GSA Unification, GSA to the power N, administration. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to crawl uh, internal files on the internet. For crawling uh, intranet files, uh, we usually have a SMB protocol, which is different from HTTP protocol, which is used for uh, crawling, uh, which is basically standard for web, uh, web pages. So I'll go ahead and enter a uh, intranet uh, directory in the start crawling from the following URL section. It's already filled out for me. The next section is follow and crawl only URLs with the following patterns. It's uh, This section is like uh, amongst the URLs you mentioned over here, which patterns do you want to follow uh, to crawl. I'm just going to go ahead and enter the same thing as this one. The next section is about uh, which uh, URLs you want not to be crawled. You can specify different file sections, file types you want, like if you don't want any uh, particular type of file like MS Word or MS Excel or uh, Windows Media files. So it usually has this list already created. You can uncomment or comment any particular file type by including a pound sign in front of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and say you are scroll. After this, you'll probably need to go to crawler's access section of the crawler index bar. This part is basically provides access to, to only those people who need to have access to the files. Suppose if a person is in marketing department, so he shouldn't probably have access to the files of the IT department. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter my details. Uh, this is the pattern I included in the crawl URL section. I'll include my username. The domain will be your domain. I'll enter my password. I won't make this public because I don't need to. And save crawler access configurations. And let's go ahead and start a crawl. Status reports. So let's go ahead to status and reports. And go ahead and resume the crawl. If we go to the crawl diagnostics, it will show us a live view of you know what's being crawled and what's being not. How long does this usually take before we get any results? Uh, it doesn't take really long actually. It just starts crawling within seconds. Here we can see a list of the files which have been crawled. Uh, I uh, started this uh, the crawl before starting the video, so don't worry because. Uh, I mean, it'll, it's showing a lot of uh, crawl URLs, which you won't see immediately. Uh, so, we can actually test it out by going, scrolling up and clicking on test center over here. And actually, I can actually search for any file that has already been crawled. So let's say we want to search for 
uh, oh, marketing tracking. A document, let's say. Let's say let's search for DLT. Okay, let's try searching on secure content. If we click on the public and secure content, it will probably show us with a pop up <coughs> where we will have to enter our credentials to view the secure content like this. So we'll go ahead and enter our credentials. So that way only the users which have access to certain files, you know, should view and will be able to view those files. So as we can see, you know, we have like all kinds of files and data with the name DLT on it. So that's pretty much it, you know, it's, it didn't take long for that, it probably took us like 15 minutes and it wasn't really that bad. So that's it for this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.